It's Saturday morning in Denver, Colorado, and groups of people congregate in the Manual High School parking lot for the start of the annual Juneteenth Parade. Are you the parade organizer? I am. I am. You see these gray hairs? <laughs> Shaniqua Jackson is the orchestrator of this sometimes chaotic procession, Scoot over, ladies. which will number close to 5,000 participants this year. It's a fixture on the calendar for the city's African American community, a chance for some of the more talented here to show off. This is my heritage, we know what we're doing, and it's a beautiful, happy day for us. A beautiful day. It's for our ancestors, Black Pride. That's what it means to me. Unity in the community, so that, uh, that says it all. Juneteenth, the celebration of the freedom from slavery, has become more and more popular over the years. Oh, it means a lot, you know, especially to see it grow from when I was a kid, you know. This Denver parade dates back to the 1950s, long before President Biden designated Juneteenth a federal holiday three years ago. It was June 19, 1865, when enslaved African Americans in the state of Texas were informed of their freedom that the Civil War was over. The 2020 protests over the killing of George Floyd helped create the momentum to turn the anniversary of that day into an official holiday. Juneteenth is a celebration of freedom. It's welcoming, it's opening, and it is an invitation to come learn more about the various aspects of history of the United States concerning African Americans and the hope that this country will someday live up to its promise. The promise, Ray Black of Colorado State University says, that as the Declaration of Independence states, all men are created equal. The push to fulfill that promise continues to this day. The achievement of freedom for African Americans is not a given in this country. Just last week, the Oklahoma Supreme Court rejected a bid for financial reparations by survivors of the Tulsa Race Massacre, whose black neighborhood was wiped out back in 1921. If you're still run out of town, if you're still, your community is destroyed and you're murdered, then the idea behind reparations is a key part of freedom. Still, there's plenty of hope on Juneteenth 2024. It's just a, a great feeling, you know, to be able to do your own thing without someone else dictating what you do, when and where. Yes! It's an opportunity to celebrate that ability, that freedom, with folks of all races. The holiday is an everyday thing for me. I'm black every day. So y'all just celebrating us while we out here, we get to celebrate it with y'all. Take stock of a journey that's been marked by many achievements, but still has a long way to go. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.